Hello, and how is it going? Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone. But more importantly, Mario 3 actually getting a bounty. We have seen other games like Super Mario 64. I think it had like a $10,000 bounty or something like that to, to beat one of the world records. But now I am actually going to encourage that for Super Mario Brothers 3. I have the world record in 100%, any percent warpless and any percent no wrong warp. And I am going to set a bounty for $1,000 to anyone who can beat any of those categories. It could be it could be anyone. And if you do all three, well, I mean, that, that sounds like $3,000 to me. The way this bounty is gonna work is it's going to start in 2022, January 1st, and you'll have all year to beat one of those records. The first person to beat it, boom, a thousand bucks. But I kind of want to make it a little bit more interesting. If there's anyone out there who wants to support this and join in on the fun and maybe potentially get it like Mario 64, where we could have like a $10,000 bounty, that would be amazing. This is going to be one of the biggest Mario 3 callouts to all of the runners out there that there is a little bit of money in speedrunning Mario 3. I think sometimes it's pretty hard to, to engage yourself in timely speedruns when it comes to Mario 3. Sometimes you're you're not in control. You can get bad hammer brother movements, you can get bad hand patterns, and, and your run is completely lost. And it, at, at some points, it's impossible to beat the world record. But sometimes a little bit of a prize, I don't wanna say that money just drives everything, but like a prize slash reward for all your hard work might give a little bit of boost to some people. So I wanna tell everyone out there, yes, a $1,000 bounty by me. And if there's anyone who wants to join in and increase that price, something like a crowdfunded, Please contact me, leave it in Leave it in the comments below. Say, you know, hey Mitch, I wanna contact you about your bounty. I wanna ask you a few questions. Uh, my business email, you know, I can put that in, uh, in the description as well. So I think that'd be really cool. But first, I think I wanna go to leaderboard really quick and we could take a look at who we think potentially could claim these bounties. So let's go ahead and take a look quickly at the leaderboard and uh, we'll throw a few names out there who I personally think is going to claim this bounty. And, and the hopes is that this is gonna drive Mario 3 in 2022 to like better heights, man. We wanna see Mario 3 growing more and more, okay? All right, let's take a look, let's take a look. Speedrun.com, let's take a quick look, go over to speedrun.com. What a surprise, it doesn't keep me logged in. Does anyone else hate speedruns.com? Like look at all these ads, which is like, okay, I get it. You know, we wanna keep this site alive. It's like one of the best sites for for logging, but look at this, man. It's just littered with ads and it doesn't keep me logged in. Every time I log in, I gotta do the two factor, get my email, get my code. And it's just, so I just don't even stay logged in. I just don't even stay logged in. I don't even care. Super Mario Bros 3. Good thing my brain wasn't typing faster than my fingers. Okay, so look at this. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, let's do it like this. Yeah, much better. Get rid of those ads so we can get a good look. So instantly, right off the bat, Maiba sees Zicky B and Louie. Instantly, top three runners right there who could definitely, definitely claim the 100% world record. I, I could see it coming. Even Karua could, but I mean, he's he's done. He's done with Mario 3, just completely stop. I wonder what Karua's up to. Uh, Faropin's kind of close. I mean, he's about a minute away and this was two weeks ago. He does have the potential, but it would be, I think it'd be pretty difficult for him to get that like extra consistency upgrade. Um, and I know a lot of people aren't gonna fully understand what I mean, but essentially it's just like when you can at actually witness that you've become better at something more consistent. It's like if you go to the gym and you actually physically notice you being much stronger or faster or your muscles are getting bigger. It's like being able to witness growing. Like it's a really hard thing to see, but eventually over time, you can, you can kind of see it. Um, so, and this is just for 100%. The bounty is for any percent warpless and any percent no wrong warp. Um, Teeks does have the potential. He's he's very good at the game. Does he have the patience and time? I'm not sure. I would say that his 100% PB does not perfectly represent his skill. Um, but 100% is very time consuming. Look at it, it's a one hour and 10 minute run. I mean, that's pretty long. Um, the Haxer could definitely do it. Haxer's PB is actually not a 110.54. He doesn't update speedruns.com. I think he, he has a 110.24 20, or 29 or something. Uh, it's in the it's in the 20s. So those are definitely my picks. Again, Stewie, I don't know if this is Stewie's time, but he is definitely much better than a 111.22. So I'm not entirely sure, but those are my heavy hitters, I think, that could achieve the 100%. Are they going to? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at Warpless. 
Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that C. Zikabee and Maiba for 100% and 80% Warpless are both two people that I can definitely see make it happen. Broken as well. Broken just came out of nowhere and just started dominating Mario 3 over this last year. I mean, five months ago, two weeks ago. Uh, Zone also doing a really good job. Zone wants to do the early hammer manipulation, but um, we're probably not going to be able to allow early hammer manipulation with emulator, with two emulator windows and the same key to power on both emulators. Because the difference between two emulators powering on with the same button, let's say, let's say one on your keyboard starts both games with both emulators on the same frame you press it versus starting an emulator and your console at the same time, there's a big, big difference. So there's a big thing about that in the community. Um, I could definitely see Louis, but Louis, I don't think enjoys Warpless as much as he does 100%. So I don't think Louis is going to be someone who's going to beat the Warpless record next year. Teeks is grinding hard for the sub 51. So, I mean, if you're going to get sub 51 and get a 50, I mean, you're you're that close. I mean, you might as well, right? Narf Man has also been grinding super hard for this category. Uh, Bagler might come back. I mean, some people might come back whenever uh, points tournament comes back. I'm also going to do a um, a battle royale, any percent of wrong warp in the future, probably a month away or something like that. So uh, yeah, very interested. There's a lot of other runners, but they're just not quite there yet. We have Cat, who's very close. JT Knot, who's running the game super hard. We got Brosis. I mean, uh, Scarface. They're, they're there, but just not quite. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get it with the year, but it is a very, very good challenge. It's something to encourage. And any percent, no wrong warp. Again, see Zikabee crew. JT Not got very good at the game in this category. This seems like someone who might be able to best the 11041. Very, very close. Louis got a very good time as well. Eddie got a very good time. Look at, look at Scarbo. I wonder if I verified this, but 1048. Like, look at these times right here. Anyone in this time bracket can probably beat it. But are they going to? That is the question. Yeah, I'm very interested. I've named my names. And you should definitely name yours in the comments below who you think will be able to claim at least one of these bounties. Like I said, there's three of them, so three can be claimed. And it's gonna start January 1st, 2022. I'm very excited to see who you guys think. I have actually a person, but I don't wanna single anyone out, but I think there's one specific person who can claim a bounty from each one who has the potential. But again, I don't wanna single anyone out. I got my hopes up and make sure to contact me if you guys wanna join in on this bounty. I would love to see like a $5,000 claim, 10,000, I mean, 10,000 is a lot. I'm not expecting that. Mario 64 is extremely popular, so I can see that. But Mario 3, it's gonna take some time to get there, but we'll take a we'll take a look. And th thanks everyone for watching and keep your eyes peeled for 2022. I'm very excited to see what happens. You guys take it easy. Whee!